Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in GUI development. Now as you've seen we've developed a basic GUI which nicely asks somebody's uh, username and if it's the correct one lets them in, if not it doesn't. Now this bit of code it builds on the last tutorial so if you're starting here I suggest you watch the previous couple of tutorials first otherwise um, this won't make a lot of sense so if you're starting here go back and watch the earlier tutorials on GUI development otherwise if you're carrying on that's great you're in the right place now you saw earlier we made a variable here to keep the text entry for the username and store it in a variable we've called text well I've basically done a similar thing here I've made another text entry field which is down here text entry 2 equals entry and then the keyword window because that's the name of our GUI window and again we've set a uh, border depth to 5 the same as the password box and up here I'm simply using the get method to get whatever text they enter into the password box and store it in a variable called password now the next interesting thing comes down here on this line so now we're doing exactly the same as we did before if text double equals Bob but this time we're using the keyword and now by using and we have to have two conditions which prove to be true which is perfect for a username and password system because they have to enter the correct username which in this case is Bob and the correct password which in this case is pass now obviously it would normally be something a little bit more difficult to guess than that but this is example code you can change that to a password of your choice so this time it will check two variables and if they're both true e.g. if it's Bob and they enter the password pass the label will be configured to say access granted else the label will be configured to say access denied so now we have a more fully working uh, login system because now it's going to check the username and the password which is exactly what we wanted the rest of this is the same except this time we've made it look a little prettier now you've seen the dot config command in the last tutorial but now I'm going to show you the dot configure um, piece of code now here I've gone LBL which is our first label dot configure and I've put background equals and then this is a color hex code now you could just put blue or red or black or white in here as a word but if you use hex codes it opens up a lot more subtle colours and a lot bigger range of colours so if you just go on Google and Google hex colour chart you will find loads and loads and loads and loads of different colours you can use this one's a light blue which I thought looked nice now what I've done I've basically I've configured each label to be light blue so you can see that here label 3 again I've put LBL3 dot configure background equals the same light blue I've done the same down here for the um, for where it says access denied or access granted same color and here as well I've actually configured the whole window of the GUI to be the same light blue so basically just to keep it all looking nice I've configured all of the colors the same obviously this is your choice you can have the window one color you can have the labels a different color I personally like to keep it all the same I think it looks more professional but that is absolutely your choice now the only other thing I've done here uh, which is different from last time I've made a new label here called label free and I've made that for telling the person to enter their password and as I already mentioned I've made another text entry box and again as always I've used the dot pack command to put that into the window so if I run this now you'll see what's different from last time so run module or F5 so now you can see I've got this looking a bit different from a standard GUI in the fact I've got it all light blue which I think looks quite nice but again experiment choose your own colors and if I put Bob in here and his password which we know is pass click submit access granted now if Bob tries to log in and he's forgotten his password and he thinks it's I don't know password for example we click submit and access denied because he's put the wrong password so even though the username is correct if they get the password wrong it will not let them in because the and condition here both have to be true it has to be username of Bob and password of pa 
pass. So that's it for this tutorial, a very quick and simple one, but hopefully this will mean you can now use some of the configure commands to make your GUI look a little bit more professional, change the colours, and now you can have a username and password checked before getting them to log on to your system. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll make some more for you soon. Take care and see you all soon. Bye for now.